It always blows my mind to see how quick we are, especially during the moment of a crisis, that we leap in and create indexes on a running system. This sounds perhaps counterintuitive, but I view the creation of indexes as one of the highest risk things you can do on any database. The reason for this is fairly simple. Typically, when we're adding indexes on a production system as not part of an application deployment, but in terms of a performance tuning scenario, we have a very tunnel vision view of the world. We have a particular SQL or several SQL statements that are causing problems, and we think adding an index will tackle those. What we're not viewing, of course, is the entire system. Adding a single index to a system could potentially change the performance profile of every single SQL statement in your application that references the table that you're about to build an index on. It's very common for DBAs during a performance crisis to put an index on to tackle a particular problem and then have to spend an enormous amount of time fighting fires for all the potential regressions that have occurred on SQL statements that you weren't even looking at. The question is, how do we avoid this? Why should we have to worry about these huge risks of creating indexes on our systems to solve performance problems? The way to do this is to use a thing called invisible indexes on the Oracle database. To give you an example of how important they are, let's consider a simple scenario. I've got a table here called T, it's a copy of all objects. I've got an existing index on my system on the object ID, so I'll call that the object IX. Here's a query in my application that a developer has come to me and he said, I, this is my query. I'm querying the owner column and the created column. There's no index on either of those columns and therefore I'm getting a table access full and my customers are unhappy. They want to improve the performance of this query. The developer will say, can I please have an index on the owner column? Or it might just automatically go through a, some sort of DevOps or automated integration suite of development changes for the next application build. The question is now is, what impact will it have? I go ahead and create this new index on the owner column. I'm calling it new index, so new index is on the owner column, and there was that existing index object IX on the object ID column. Here is the problematic SQL, select star from T where owner equals some value and created greater than certain value. And it's now switched from using a full table scan onto our index range scan on the new index. So we run around, we're giving each other high fives, and of course, then the phone rings. Now, I don't know about you, but if I've just done a change to a production system and the phone rings, it's very, very rarely the case that someone's phoning you up to give you a pat on the back. It normally means that something has gone wrong. Let's explore. Before the new index, here is a separate SQL statement in my application that was running totally fine. Therefore, I wasn't even looking at it. It's a select star from T where owner equals sys and object ID between a couple of values. And it was using the object index, the original index on my application. I can see the cost of running that when I actually physically run the actual statement was about 780 consistent gets. However, after the new index, that statement, which I wasn't even focused on, has flipped. It's using a new execution plan. It's swapped over to using the new index. Now the optimizer thinks this is a good idea, but when we actually look at the reality, it went from 780 consistent gets to approximately double that. That's gonna upset my customers, especially if this was at a larger scale that could go from a small number of consistent gets to millions upon millions and cause all sorts of problems. That's gonna be very unhappy users because a perfectly working part of your application that was not meant to be touched is now gone south. The solution to this is in visible indexes. Let's repeat that same demo. I'll take that new index and make it invisible. It doesn't mean the index no longer exists. It simply is invisible to the optimizer. Now, that query that was running just fine has reverted back to using the object IX. It can no longer see the new index we created to tackle our performance problem. Now, of course, that seems to have taken us back to square one. The developer's gonna go, well, what about my code? I needed that index to fix a different performance problem. The original code that motivated this new index in the first place has also now regressed. It's no longer seeing the index. It's going back to table access full. However, at a session level, you can tweak a session parameter, optimizer use invisible indexes equals true, 
and now just this session can see the new index because it's still marked as invisible. In this way, you're wrapping your SQL statement or your session to protect others. Only this particular session, which is about to run this particular statement, can see the invisible indexes. No one else is going to encounter a performance regression. If setting it at session level is too broad a brush, you can also use a statement level hint. Use invisible indexes and you could change your code to pick up that hint or you could use something like SQL patch to force that hint in. All of these things let you introduce some indexes without regressions and then over time when you've had enough time to do a full regression test, you would then make that index visible in the normal way once you're confident that it's not going to cause any dramas elsewhere in your application. So as a general standard, consider setting all indexes to invisible upon creation if you're making emergency changes to your application to solve performance problems. Mm -hmm.